So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video we're going to be discussing Call of Duty World War 2. As it's now the 1st of July, things are really exciting as we are expecting to hear our first bits of zombie news during this month. Now you're probably wondering how do I know this, and I made a video uh, about this two days ago, and Sledgehammer Games done a series of questions and answers over on the subreddit, where a lot of people ask some zombie questions, and they tease at the fact that they're going to be in Comic-Con in a few weeks time and that they realize it's been quite a while since they last spoke about zombies and they're going to be there in some sort of big way where they're going to be giving away lots of swag as well. But in this video we're going to be talking about the first in-game look at third person mode inside of World War 2. Now just before this AMA went live on Reddit about two days prior, Michael Condry from Search Hammer Games posted this video on their social media. Hey guys, I'm Michael Condry here at Sledgehammer Games. We're just off an incredible week with E3 and fans and the multiplayer reveal. We had the esports team in, we've had influencers talking about the game, and of course we have a very active dialogue happening on Call of Duty World War II subreddit, and we decided to do an AMA where we can talk about everything that you've seen so far in the reveal trailer and at E3, from war mode to divisions to maps to weapons. Bring your questions, because we're going to go live Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, we're going to answer those questions direct with you, our fans. Tune in. Now, you're probably not thinking that this is a big deal, but you may have not noticed in the background, they have World War II running on about three different consoles, and specifically, you can see the soldiers are in third person. Now, what you're seeing behind Michael Condry here is a look at the new headquarters mode inside of the game, which is a social space where I think it's up to 48 players can be at any one time in Call of Duty. And this is a separate mode from the actual multiplayer where people can socialize, uh, kind of like compare their stats and just basically practice their weapon skills before jumping in online. And there even is a 1v1 section where you can see these two characters sort of near the firing range. There's like a sort of little pit where you can 1v1 which sounds really awesome but what's interesting is we now know that this is entirely in third person now the only things we know about zombies is that it's going to be very dark and gritty and it's going to follow their dead space signature this has been spoken about a little bit and rumored before but this is our first look at third person in world war 2 and this could also give us a tiny glimpse of what we could expect from zombies during its time in world war 2 seeing as it has the dead space signature now and what you're watching on screen is some gameplay of dead space 3 which are recorded on pc just before making this video and this is the last game that sledgehammer games made before they went on to work on advanced warfare so this is the sort of thing that they grew very used to and they loved which was the third person horror scary genre of games now they're bringing back third person in a way within headquarters and if they're bringing back the dead space signature into zombies then there's a fairly good chance that it could be third person now call of duty's never been in third person before it's always been first person although sledgehammer games were were making a third person Vietnam Call of Duty game before they cancelled and helped make Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward. But now with third person coming in with headquarters it's quite clear that they still envision seeing a little bit of third person within Call of Duty and if they really wanted to change things up with zombies and bring it to that dead space signature then they very well could indeed change it to third person. Now Call of Duty is like I mentioned always a first person experience and I doubt that they'd make it solely a third person but but wouldn't it be interesting if there was a portion of it that was third person and a portion that was first person? Now, obviously, looking at Dead Space and looking at Call of Duty, the mechanics are quite a bit different. You can see some of this gameplay here. There are moments where I'm sprinting, where you're crouching behind cover and aiming over cover. How interesting would that be to fight zombies? And rather than it be just the simple round-by-round uh, round scenario that we've gotten used to, if they really switched up the formula and made it really horrifying and almost campaign like whilst almost having an objective and perhaps a round based mode as well to throw in. I just feel like with the amount of time that Sledgehammer games have had to really hone in on their third person mode that they've always envisioned in Call of Duty and they're having it at headquarters, they're having the dead space signature on zombies and if they really wanted to change things up within zombies then it could be third person, we really don't know. All they've mentioned is that their new mode is an entirely new story 
and a new horrifying experience. If they wanted to change the style of gameplay up completely, then third person would be the exact way to go about things. Could you imagine how insane this sort of Nazi zombies vibe could be if there was no round counter and you were able to free roam around in various areas. Just imagine how sick that would be. Rather than it be just this one constricted level where you have to buy doors in order to progress through. Imagine if it was an open area where there was different objectives in certain parts of the maps. And there's an ever arcing storyline which is affected by what you do within these levels. It just, it, I don't even know. They could just go down the normal typical way because it's simple but... I feel like they learned from their mistakes in Exo Zombies and how, you know, it was the simple Triarch formula and in a way it did work, but of course the Exos ruined things and I think they're definitely going to get things right here. The fact that they've managed to make such an amazing series of horror games and they're claiming that this will have their Dead Space signature, it rings good bells for me. And like I mentioned, they're teasing about Comic-Con, which is going to be between July 19th and July 23rd. As soon as we hear more news, which I assume we will do via the form of maybe teasers or a formal announcement from Search Hammer Games about what exactly is happening with zombies at Comic-Con, I'll be sure to update you guys with a video. But there you go, guys. Our first look at third person in Call of Duty World War 2. Could it transfer over into other modes like zombies? Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that down below in the comment section. But if you enjoyed the video... Make sure to drop it a like racing. Marco Contri obviously had this on screen because he wanted us to notice that this was in third person. This is like a massive deal. Thank you so much for watching. You've been amazing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep yourself updated and I'll catch you guys next time.